Hello to all of my friends here on uh, YouTube. I'm basically doing this video um, as a response to many requests of um, doing um, my previous video about how to repair a print head in uh, HP in an English version. So here we are. I will guide you through um, the basic steps that needs to be taken in order to overcome most of the common problems uh, in the HP printed uh, errors. For that we have here, as you can see, <clears throat> second, as you can see we have here the HP 8600 Office Jet Pro which is a um, very very common one and also have a lot of problem in the printhead so let's start first thing you need to do is to plug in the machine to the power outlet after you're doing that the machine you need to press this button and the machine will come will come on as you see once the machine is warmed up you open up this hatch right here you will see in few seconds okay the printer is now telling us to um, put the ink inside but it won't do any good because as we know the print head is broken so we open up this door here and the print head will come to the position in which you can change the ink what you need to do from here is to just take out the ink by pressing on each one of them to all the inside of the printer and it just pops right out and you take off the electricity you cut off the electricity to the machine by put it out from the outlet we're doing that because we need the um, print head to remain in this position here on the right side we have a leverage here we need to push it up and then the unit here, the printhead, is just released from its position. And how we take it out, we lift it a little bit and we just put it towards us. We put it on a piece of paper. Just a second. Just take a piece of paper and we put the print head on it. Once we do that, we no longer need the printer, so I will get rid of it for a second and I will come back to you. realize that it is that heavy so be careful while you're doing this um, so we have the printer right here you can see it what basically the main part that is uh, most common to have a failure it is not this card here not this one Inside, we have a smaller contact card here. His job is to communicate between the ink cardig edge and the printer. Most of the problems is uh, related to problems here. 
in the contact board inside the printhead and not the old printhead. So what we need to do is just take a Torx screwdriver. This is the screwdriver that needed a small Torx or a small regular one. Also, a lot of small regular screwdrivers will open up those screws. So we need to take a to take off four screws: one, two, three, and four. Here, it is very very simple. It's required really minimum force. Don't over push it or anything like this because you can break the plastic cover here and um, this would be very very hard to fix. See it just comes off really really easily. And you take out those four screws and then the all top of the printhead is coming off and you can see it a lot clearly this is the inner part that is most common to have a failure in it you can get it online for five to ten dollars and it's a um, price worth paying for those kind of printers that they are very very um, expensive and it's a shame for a part that costs so um, cheaply to throw away a machine that costs us um, a lot of uh, money. After you take out another two screws that were here, make sure you put those screws somewhere else because they are not the same as the full screws that holds the roof. That hold, that hold sorry the cover of all, of all the um, printhead. Now this inner part just comes out really easily. You need to just pull the cable here. See? This cable, you just pull it out very, very easily and this old unit comes off. Most of the problems are in this small card here or at the contacts here you can see that in a lot of printers oil um, sorry ink that leak on those con contactors or um, people who push hard on the ink make um, make here uh, some damage to the contacts and it's not longer recognize the ink and from this point on the printer will not work so you get one like this online at the link at the box the information box and you just put everything back together make sure that you are forcing in the line the cable here force it in good because if it won't be connected well the machine won't work then all what's need all what's left to be done is just to screw back everything two screws here at the back you can do one or two twists by hand and then tighten everything with a screwdriver so the inner part is already installed with the cable as you can see here the cable is well installed back then this cover is coming from the top and also four screws here two on each side that hold 
discover a place, you see? One, two, and here you need to make sure that you are not applying any unnecessary force on the screws. Those screws are not meant to be uh, over tightened. Really, really, just close it with minimum force required because too much force you can break here the plastic and then you will have to do some other repairs like gluing this part together and this is the way for a disaster make sure you take a um, piece of paper when you walk because this whole thing is leak and it's very very a shame that ink will leak on your table and other things and also you can walk with gloves I love to walk with no gloves but uh, if you want to be a professional put on gloves all what's left to be done is um, just um, take back the printer the unit back to the printer I will show you it is very very simple you just take it you lift it a little bit and you just applying a little bit of force on the bottom here on the bottom part like this and you close back the handle close this hatch put back the power oh sorry <laughs> of course put back the ink by pushing it to its place you just push towards the inside of the printer those circles here needs to be at the bottom and you just close the hatch put back the power on and most of the problems will be solved if the problem is not solved uh, make sure that the cable is well connected and um, everything is in place and if it's still not working you have a um, major uh, error major failure at the printhead or uh, other failure in the machine that needs to be checked I hope that you will find uh, the video you will find this video useful to you I was more than well I was war I'm sorry I was more than welcome to make this one for you in the English version and I am um, looking forward to your uh, requests on other uh, errors in common machines and um, I will upload more videos so don't forget to make a like to share and to subscribe to our page thank you bye bye